Welcome everyone to Belinda's Country Living. Good morning, afternoon, and evening to all my YouTube family and friends. Today, I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie casserole. Now, one of my subscribers has left a comment that they wanted me to do a chicken casserole using canned chicken. So that's what I'm doing today. So you are going to need two cans of chicken breast. And each one of these cans are 12 and a half ounces. So you're going to need two cans of chicken. I'm using one large can of mixed vegetables. Now you can use the frozen bags of mixed vegetables, but I'm using what I have on hand. You're going to need a can of cream of mushroom soup, a can of cream of celery soup. You're going to need salt, pepper. I like to use lemon pepper. That gives it a really nice flavor. Lemon goes with chicken and fish. I also use parsley flakes. I'm going to be using about a half a can of chicken broth. You'll also need a fourth a cup of butter and a cup of breadcrumbs. Now this will be for your topping. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now I've already got the water boiling on the stove. I'm going to add my bag of noodles and it will cook for about six minutes. So I'm going to add that. You want to add salt to your water, which I have already done so. And like I said, you'll cook that for about six minutes. Now I don't want my noodles to get completely done because they, the noodles will be baking in the oven with the other. Now, I'm going to dump the two cans of chicken. I am not going to drain the chicken. You want all that liquid in there. This is so simple to make. You will, this is absolutely delicious. You could also use this same recipe for tuna, you can add broccoli to this and just make it your own. Now I'm just going to press the chicken chunks, try to pull them apart, shred them. This is really uh, very quick for those mothers out there that have after school functions or you just don't feel like really cooking, then you could just throw this together very quickly and it's very delicious. So this, this is what we'll have tonight when my grandson gets off work. First thing he says when he gets in the car, Mamma, what's for dinner? And he works at Taco Bell. And he eats. I'm telling you that kid can eat. Both of these boys, they eat like crazy. So you want to mash that up. So now what we're going to do, we are going to add the soup. Just dump that in there. Oh, so good. Can't always get these little spatulas. 
in the can to get all that goodness out of there. I love celery soup. Now you can make homemade sauce and that's very simple to make. But we're doing something quick. So I'm using the canned soup. And just mix that up very well. It'll be soupy, but remember you're going to be putting your noodles in this. And when it bakes, them noodles are going to take up a lot of this liquid. So let's add a little bit of pepper. You all know me by now that I don't measure. I just do it to my liking. There you have it. That's the pepper. Salt the same way. And keep in mind that your soup has a lot of salt in it. So if you're uh, watching your salt intake, your sodium, then back off on the salt. And let's mix this really well. This will, you make this, if you have any outings you're going to, picnic, this is going to be your bake and go. Mix it, bake it, take it with you. So now we're going to add a little bit of the lemon pepper. Let's add a little bit of parsley. It's gonna be good, y'all, you know. Kind of just add whatever you want to to this. Make it your own. That's what we do here in the kitchen. I wanna check my noodles here. They're going. I want to thank all of you for all your comments. I really enjoy reading each and every one. I had a lot of comments on another of one of my videos that I did of my friend. She's 96 years old. And uh, she's going to be 97 in August the 2nd. And you know, she would really appreciate if some of you out there would send her a card. There's nothing like, you know, living alone and she enjoys getting cards. We're gonna throw her a little birthday party. Uh, I'll get her a cake and a few things, but she really enjoys cards, letters. So if you all could take a little bit of time and send her a card, let her know that you appreciate her and her video. So we're just waiting for the noodles to get done now. So in the meantime, I am going to rinse these cans out just with a little bit of water, a little bit of chicken broth, just Swirl that around. Look at that. Get all that goodness out of them cans. That's how you do it. You don't want to waste nothing. There you go. Oh, it smells good. And I just, you know, I don't know about you all, but there's sometimes I could just fix a bag of noodles, butter them, and just eat them. Oh, they're so good. But there's nothing like homemade noodles. So, that is done. So in the meantime, we're gonna mix up the topping here. We're gonna put a cup of breadcrumbs, and I use Italian-style breadcrumbs. 
We're going to go ahead and mix this up. Pour that in there just like that. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. <coughs> Here in Indiana, it, uh, it's a pretty nice day today. It was raining when I got up this morning. <coughs> I even took my Florinez today and it's getting where it, that don't even work anymore for my allergies, but. And now we're gonna mix in a fourth of a cup of melted butter into these crumbs. Checking my noodles again. Almost there. My oven's already preheated, waiting for this to be ready to stick in the in the oven. This is how we do it in my kitchen. I don't have a, a camera person. I'm doing everything on my cell phone. So I don't prepare to get in front of a camera. As a matter of fact, I don't like it, but it takes a while. So yeah, that's ready to go on top. And also, we are going to drain the mixed vegetables. Now, keep in mind that you can use frozen if that's what you choose. But I'm doing what I already have. And just dump that in there. And I say this is a chicken pot pie casserole because the only difference is with the casserole, you do have a crust. And we're using noodles in place of the crust. Boy, I'm telling you, that doesn't look good. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking I'll have some garlic cheesy bread with that this evening. Okay, let me give this another check over here. Okay, the noodles are ready to get out. I'm just going to scoop them out of the water. They are done. Hope y'all can see me doing this, but I'm just scooping them out, straining as I go. That's less cleanup you have to do. Don't use a colander, just, I'm just using one of these strainers here and dipping it out of the pan. Yeah, it was raining when I got up this morning. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of outdoor work today. Be sure that... Be sure if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am new here and the thumbs up means a lot. That's what YouTube goes on is when people click on your like. So the noodles are done. We are going to add it to a nine by 13 baking dish. I'm going to spray the, the the bottom and the sides real well and now you're going to put your noodles in the bottom 
of the baking dish. Let's go ahead and spread that around. Now I'm also going to add top of this, uh, the noodles, some cheddar cheese, just lightly. Spread it on top, just like that. And so now we're going to pour all of their ingredients right on top of these noodles. Just like that. Let me get all that out of there. Don't want to miss any of that. Just like that. The worst part, to me anyway, the worst part of cooking is the cleanup. And I'm the only one does it all. Now the boys, if they dirty a dish, they know to clean it. If they get up and they have cereal in the morning, they wash their own dish. Okay, and spread that evenly, just like that. Now to that, we're gonna top it with some more cheddar cheese. And remember, your oven has to be 400 degrees. I'm also adding some Kobe Jack. I blend a Kobe, Monterey Jack, and shredded cheese. Just like that. Just add to your liking. You're not going to go wrong on this, people. So, yeah, I'll leave uh, the video up in the corner of uh, Wilma, a 96-year-old sweetheart, and if her birthday's coming up. So, if y'all have the time, just send her a little card. She'll really appreciate that. I like a lot of cheese. Just like that. That's all. I see this ain't took very long. So now, the topping is the breadcrumbs, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Use whatever breadcrumbs you like. And a fourth cup of butter. And I'm going to just sprinkle this on top. This is going to give it a little bit of crunch. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good, y'all. Kind of pat that down. No, I don't know about you, but I love butter. Just like that. If you like a heavy topping, just, I may not use all this. Okay, that's all there is to that. And no, I didn't use all of it. So, it is ready to go into the oven. I hope the subscriber that requested me do um, chicken casserole with canned chicken, I'm definitely, I'm sure he will see this. This is what it looks like. Looks so good. But wait till it comes out of the oven. So, you're going to put that in the oven, 400 degree, for about 40 minutes. 
In it goes. So that's all there is to it. And as soon as it comes out of the oven, I'll get back with you. Okay, so the chicken pot pie casserole is done. Just got it out of the oven. It's still warm. And oh my goodness. It looks so good. Let me, um, it's still warm, Ooh, still hot. Move this a little closer. Sorry, I don't have a camera to put down on the top, but I will try to, it's, it's pretty hot. Look at that. So, it's still warm, but I'm still going to cut you a piece. I'm going to get me another towel. So I can hold on to this. I always like to measure my spatula to, there we go. Oh, the top is so crunchy. About 15 minutes before it's ready to come out of the oven, it's still warm. Um, sprinkle you some more cheese on it. This, I'm hoping, will stay together. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't get any better than this. This is good food. I'll eat that. And the piece of corn that fell. Oh, look at that. Let me bring it closer. Just make this your quick and easy dump and go chicken casserole, chicken pot pie. I have made the chicken pot pie just like this, but I just make the crust. I put a bottom crust and a top crust. And I'll do that in one video. So, everybody wants you to do a taste test. I already know this tastes wonderful. And makes it even better because it doesn't take long to cook your, uh, move them noodles of them noodles. Hey, this is hot. Throw you some bread, garlic bread. I know it'd be a lot of starch, but you got a lot of your vegetables in here. You have peas, carrots, potatoes, noodles. Sometimes I put onion in mine, but I left the onions out today. So, I'm gonna give you a taste test. Like really, why do they do this? I don't know. Cause even if it was just so gross, are you gonna tell people? Well, let me tell you, I would. Mm. I love to eat. Love to eat. The cheese that you put on top, the cheddar cheese, has a crunch to it with the breadcrumbs and the butter. And that almost give you a, a taste of hash browns. And you could even do that too. I don't know, I've never done it, but. 
how do you think you get new recipes? Anyway, while this was all cooking, I already done a load of laundry, and I made some sweet tea, so I did a video on that, so I'll post that when this video goes up and go watch how I do my, my tea. So again, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm new to my channel, this is new, and that's what we're all here for, is to help each other out. Until the next time, have a wonderful and blessed day.